If you are looking for a way to create impressive business cards, then you come to the right place. My name is Daniel Tung Nguyen and welcome to my Skill Express YouTube channel. Business card, in my opinion, is still the most formal and appropriate way of exchanging information, especially if you are in academia or business. They are the most effective direct marketing tool. A business card is the first impression about you or your brand. And in many cases, if you're applying for jobs, for example, they show that you are prepared. For that reason, in this video, I will show you a way to create a low cost and impressive business card with Microsoft Publisher. In my case, it is for showcasing my experiences and achievements for job application, but you will get the idea and will be able to modify it to fit your situation. First of all, you will need to prepare the media that will go into the front and back of your business card, like logos, photos, QR codes, or graphical texts, etc. Here for the front, I use a banner of logos of all the organization that I'm currently or recently involved and the duration of the involvement. Also my representative avatar. For the back, I use the QR codes to showcase my products. The QR codes are linked to the sites that stored my CV, my window application for ecosystem optimization, my smartphone applications, and my YouTube channel. You can easily create QR code for free at qrco-monkey.com. I'll put the link in the description. Now that you have all the materials created, open Microsoft Publisher. This application should come with your Microsoft package. I'm using the 2013 version, but I guess it should not be so different with other versions. Once you open Publisher, you should see the screen like this. You want to go to built-in templates and choose the business cards category as it is what we are interested in for now. There are a myriad of templates for you to work on, the most popular on top and more options beneath them. You can pick a template and start modify it for ease. For example, here I'll pick this dragonfly template. You will be able to change the color themes to the one you like. Here I'll just go with default color for demonstration, hit create. You will see the business card has been populated with the generic information with my name on it. This is because I have not completely updated my information with Microsoft Publisher. You can update your information by going to file, info, and then edit business information. Now you see that my organization information has been updated. It will automatically do that with all the templates you pick. But here I want to completely customize my business card. So I'm going to close this and start with a blank template. The application also offers a bunch of blank sizes for you to work on. But I will be printing my business cards myself so I'll pick a template from a printing manufacturer. You can easily find these brand printing papers from Walmart or Office Depot. Here I'll use every US letter. I will choose the template that fits the product I bought. This product came in a set of 10 sheets with 10 cards on one sheet. You can just print and then pop them out easily from the sheet, no cutting required. Hit create. Now I'll work on the front page of the business card. There are three elements that I will be focusing on. A logo that gives people a first impression of my experiences. An avatar that reminds people of who I am, our meetings and conversations, etc. And my information in text format. You can add text and pictures using the objects block in the home tab on the menu bar. I'll be adding the logo and avatar first.
Now for the text fonts and sizes. I like to use Arial Black 11 PPT for the name section and Arial 7 PPT for other sections. But you can test them out and adjust them as needed. That is the front of my business card. Now let's add a blank page to work on the back. I will be inserting these QR codes to the back of my business card. Here I have finished my business card. What I need to do now is to export it out as a PDF and color print it on the business card papers that I bought. You can export by going to File and Save As. Choose File Type as PDF. And you can print out your business cards from this PDF file. And there you go, you have an impressive business card. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Hit subscribe if you are bored with creating crappy media and want to commit to more professional steps. And stay connected for upcoming videos. Goodbye for now. Jump.